Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sunkler, and today I'm going to show you how you can make some really cool, wonky, messy joints here inside of Ableton using a serum. So without talking much longer, let's go straight into the dot and get started with this tutorial. And so let's get started by loading up serum here. I'm going to be using serum 1. You can use serum 2 if you already downloaded serum 2. But for this tutorial and for the people that don't have serum 2, I'm looking at you, har har har. Um, let's keep it simple with Serum 1. So I'm going to select here a basic shape here and I want a square shape like this. That sounds perfect and I'm going to add a 7th here. And let's select here basic shapes and see. Play around with the FM. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the random all the way down. So that it always sounds the same. This is a very important part to the sound that we're making. And let's modulate this. And I want to make it this, I want this LFO curve because I want it very wonky. Let's add some unison here. And make it very loud. Trust the process, it sounds like trash right now, but... That's the vowel sound that I want here for this bass. Let's add a sub. Let's add a little bit of white noise. Now let's add an EQ here. Add the multiband compressor. Let's add a comp filter to add some tonality to this. That tonal sounds good. Yeah, I really like how that sounds there. And this is going to be the secret sauce here. Let's add a crazy amount of hyper dimension here. It's already sounding super messy. Uh, let's add some distortion. Let's add a little bit more tone here with another phaser. Yeah, that sounds good. And then after we can, like, for example, if we wanted to do variations of the sound, right, we can just sort of... Yeah, 
yeah, that sounds really good. Um, let's do some post processing now. And I already have a chain here I've called messy base rack here that I've done. Um, it's super easy to use. I'm gonna explain step by step what does this chain have. Makes it sound very meaty, sounds very good. And so let's go each one and explain what's happening, starting with a reduced ambience. This is just sort of cleaning up the tail a little bit. It sort of like cleans up the tail a little bit, so it sounds a little bit sharper, a little bit more aggressive. On its own, it doesn't do a huge difference, but when you start adding layers to the post-processing, then it, it's really crazy. Then we have this phaser here set to a crazy amount of feedback and the frequency range around sort of the two and a half to 3000 kilohertz. If you guys notice, this is adding a whole bunch of more stereo information. So without it, it sounds a little bit more mono. With it, it sounds more stereo. So this is just adding a little bit of stereo. Then I have this reverb here, which is adding sort of a slap back sort of um, effect here with a crazy amount of free delay and basically no size and decay. And a little amount of dry wet here. Then I have this the written shifter that I have made, I copied it from Virtual Riot. So what it has is a ozone imager. You don't have to use ozone imager. You can even use the EQ here in Ableton. You just do a split in 150 for the sub and 150 for everything else. Um, the way I have it working is here on the sub channel. The sub is, mo is soloed here, so only the sub is there. If you wanted to make it a step forward, you can add here a utility. So let's search here for a utility. And here we go. And now we have our sub mono. And then here is where the magic happens. Again, the same thing, the split here with the imager for the high end. And I have a frequency shifter that I control here with the macro. Uh, it goes from left to right, as you guys can see here. And I have it right now at negative 80 um, hertz. Sounds cool to me. But this all depends on this type of sound. This is one of the things that you can really automate and really play around to sort of like create a whole bunch of different wonky basses. Um. Um, then I add in an EQ because since I'm lowering the pitch of the um, bass here with the frequency shifter, I wanted to make sure that I had that cut out. Then I have this EQA to sort of like clean up the mud a little bit from the bass. This is more like just some mixing, just some average mixing. And then I have this fat rack. This is a VR fat rack um, that you can get from his Patreon. Um, I'm using this one because it's the cleanest one of the fat racks that I have right now. Um, so if you're subscribed to the Virtual Patreon, you can download that. Um, from his Patreon that's going to be linked down in the description. It's very, very, very um, clean, but it really beefs up the sound. And now we can do some really fun things because, for example, um, you don't need to use square waves or basic shapes, like you can really use any um, wave table. Because this sound design um, technique is so versatile. 
can start slapping around changing wavetables, you can adjust um, LFO curves like this. And this is where the magic really happens because you can really start playing around and you can really start experimenting and changing the sound. You create a whole bunch of um, samples, presets, and you can make a whole track just using um, this technique because then you can, for example, You can re really get wonky with this. Um, I think this is an awesome... This is an awesome preset to sort of like really beef up your um, self-made library. Um, one important thing that really makes this sound is this um, high peak filter. So I wouldn't suggest changing it. Let's see what happens when you change it. It doesn't sound the same. Because that second peak is really doing a lot of the work. You can even like... You can add, for example, some sync. It's really an unlimited amount of bases you can make from here. Um, with such a simple post-processing rack, even without the post-processing, it sounds super good. And if you have Serum 2, you can really get crazy with the effects because you have unlimited effects in Serum 2 compared to Serum. I'm handicapped right now by using Serum, but you don't have to um, use Serum. You can use Serum 2 instead. So really, um, this is where creativity sort of like plays a big role on what you guys want to make. So anyways, um, comment down below what you guys are going to be making with this. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, like and subscribe for more sound killer content. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Link for the Bridge Riot Patreon is going to be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.